Welcome to Lightspeed's video support. I'm Matt, here to show you how to set up your Verifone P400 Plus payment terminal. We're going to connect it to your network and add it to your Lightspeed Restaurant K-Series back office. It's important that you only use the terminal supplied to you by Lightspeed, because any terminal obtained from a third party won't be configured for your account and could be a security risk. If you need more detailed troubleshooting or setup instructions, visit the link in the description for the P400 Plus article on our Help Center. Before we get started, make sure you have everything you need. In the box, you should find your P400 payment terminal, the terminal power cable, and the adapter cable. If you want to connect the terminal via Ethernet, the Ethernet cable is not included and must be purchased separately. You'll also need a screwdriver. To get started, loosen the screw in the back panel and then slide the panel towards the top of the terminal. Plug the adapter cable into its slot and slide the panel back on. Make sure the cable feeds through the hole in the panel and retighten the screw. Next, plug the power cable into the electrical port on the adapter. Then, plug the other end of the power cable into a wall outlet and the terminal will automatically power on. Give it a moment to load, then, the terminal will prompt you to set up your connection. Tap Connect. Here, you'll see a list of different network connection options. You can connect your terminal to your network using Wi-Fi or Ethernet. I'll show you how to set up both connection types. First, let's connect your terminal via Ethernet. If you want to connect via Wi-Fi, skip to 228. Ethernet is our recommended connection type because it provides a more secure connection to your terminal but you must have access to your router. First, plug one end of the Ethernet cable into the port on the adapter cable labeled ETH or ETH. Then, plug the other end into the Ethernet port on your router. Tap Option 2 Ethernet to display your network information. Then, scroll down and tap Apply. The terminal will eventually return to the Network Options screen and that's how you connect your terminal via Ethernet. Now I'll show you how to connect your terminal via Wi-Fi. This is a good option if you don't have access to a router. If you've already connected your terminal via Ethernet, skip to 316. To get started, tap option five, Wi-Fi, on the terminal screen. On the next screen, tap the plus button and your terminal will display a list of available networks. Tap to select your network and use the keyboard to enter your Wi-Fi password. Press the green circle button or the check mark on screen to confirm. After a moment, the terminal will display your network name and a Wi-Fi symbol to indicate that you are now connected. That's it. If you need to change your connection type or access any of the settings on the terminal, press 9 on the keypad, followed by the green circle button. The terminal will ask for the admin code. Lightspeed's admin code is 5773. Using the keypad, input the code and press the green button again. Then, tap Network from the list of available options on screen and the terminal will list your network options. From here, you can change your connection type. Once you've connected your terminal to the network, you'll need to board the terminal. Tap the Board Terminal button at the bottom of the screen and select your store. The terminal will update and may restart several times. This process takes about 20 minutes to complete. When it's done updating, you will then see a screen with the Lightspeed logo on it. That means your terminal is ready. Now let's go to the back office and confirm the network connection. When Lightspeed sends you your terminal, we also configure the connection between your Lightspeed restaurant account and your Lightspeed payments account. To save you time, we also add your payment terminal to your back office. Sign in and go to Configuration, Hardware, Payment Terminals to view this information. If you have other terminals configured, they will also be listed here. If your terminal doesn't appear in your back office, I'll show you how to add it manually. If Lightspeed added your terminal for you, skip to 611. To get started, click Add New Terminal and fill in these four fields. The first field is terminal name. You can enter whatever will help you identify your terminal, such as front counter or left register. 
For this video, we'll name it P400. Next is Terminal Type. Click the drop down and select Lightspeed Payments Adyen. Now, enter the device's IP address. You can also change this information if your terminal is already in the back office. To find your terminal's IP address, go to Settings on the terminal. Press 9 on the keypad, followed by the green circle button, and then tap Device Info, and you will find the IP address listed along with other network information. Input the IP address into the field in the back office. Finally, we have the terminal ID. Terminal ID must be entered in the following format, model dash serial number with no hyphens in the serial number. To find the serial number, press 9 on the keypad, followed by the green circle button, and then tap device info. The serial number is listed first. For this example, we'll enter P400 plus 8055982. 55. You can ignore the option to print credit card receipts from the terminal because this model has no internal printer. Once you're ready, click Save and the terminal will be added to your back office. Before we run a test transaction, let's confirm that your terminal is connected to your POS. In your back office, go to Configuration, Devices, Devices. You should see your POS listed here. Click the name or edit. You can visit this page to configure your POS in the back office. For this video, we'll focus on the payment terminal section. Click the drop down and select your terminal. Any other terminals added to your back office can be selected as backups. When you're done, scroll down and click update. Now let's run a test transaction on the POS to ensure that your terminal is functioning properly. You may need to have a floor plan created in your back office to associate the order with a table. For more information on floor plans, click the link in the description. First, reload the configuration on your POS. Go to Settings, Control Center, and click Reload Device. Now you're ready to run the test transaction. On your POS, select Tables and choose one of the tables in your floor plan. Then. Place an order. Keep in mind that this payment will process on your card, but you can refund it later. When you're done, tap Pay at the bottom of the screen. Select the credit card with the Lightspeed logo under Payment Methods. You can also toggle if you want the receipt to print, and tap Pay. If you have multiple terminals connected, your POS will prompt you to select one. Finally, your terminal will prompt you to add a tip. Select an amount or tap No Tip. Then swipe insert or tap your card. A confirmation message will appear on your terminal and your POS will confirm that the payment is approved. This means your terminal is set up and ready to process payments. Then you can return the test transaction and refund the amount to your card. If the payment doesn't process, first confirm that your terminal and iPad are connected to the same network. If both devices are on the same Wi-Fi, and you're still having issues processing payments, you may have a DNS connection issue. On your iPad, go to Settings, Wi-Fi, and then tap the information icon next to your connected network. Scroll down to Configure DNS. If your DNS is set to automatic, switch it to manual. Now we'll edit your DNS servers. You should see two fields. If you only see one field, tap the Add Server button. In the first field, enter 8 Point eight, point eight, point eight. In the second field, enter 8.8.4.4. This will ensure a secure connection between your POS and payment terminal. When you're done, make sure to tap Save. And that's it. You are now ready to process payments for your customers. If you have any questions, view the links in the video description or visit our K-Series Help Center.